rolling. Here we are. Hi. Neil's here too. Everybody's here today. We're a busy shop, but we still got your over under for the Ranger Neil RT 198P. RT 198P is coming at you right now. Are you ready? RT 198P coming at you. Here we go. This is gonna get good, people. This is gonna get good. All right, so we get on the computer, we're looking at it, we're trying to throw our options at this thing, and it's the complete Mr. Yuck sticker. Have you ever seen the Mr. Yuck sticker? Maybe you guys are too young, some of you guys, for the Mr. Yuck sticker, the bleh sticker. We can't do this, we can't do what we wanna do. We wanna take all of our stuff, we usually throw at it 15 grand worth of cool stuff, we can't do it, they won't let us, they hate us. They hate us at Ranger. They just they, they they hate us. We're not flipping in Arkansas. I don't know what we're doing, but we're not we're not part of it. So we're gonna start this thing off at thirty four thousand nine oh five. And you know what I like to do? I like to round it up. So let's just go thirty five grand because I don't like nine oh five. I don't like fifty cents. I don't like any of that garbage. Just to go right to thirty five grand. Get it over with. Let's put the two fifty on it. No. Uh -uh. Can't even put a two hundred on it. Maybe one seventy five. No, nope, can't do it. Let's put a four stroke 150 Pro XS on the back that goes quack, 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 every time you shift gears. That's what we gotta put on it. We gotta put a 150 four stroke on the back. Can't put a two stroke on it, no one likes them anymore. Um, where our government doesn't say we can make them no more. So we gotta put the four stroke on the back. Four stroke 150 on the back Mercury. All right, let's change the brand. It says multiple brands, is that what it says? Multi, lots of options. So we're trying to find, there's no options, it's Mercury. It's Mercury or nothing. You can't put a Yamaha on it, they won't let you, they hate us. Like I said, I want to put my Suzuki 150SS on it. I can't do it. You want to know why? Because they want it to be a Mercury only boat. It's a Mercury only boat. So we got the Mercury 150 Pro XS boat, motor, trailer, 34,905, 35 grand. All right, let's get to the batteries. Let's put our 112 on. Oh, wait. Slow down, Andy. Slow down. Tell the people what it comes with. Okay, let me tell you what it comes with. It comes with a bad Max 70 on the front on my 19 and a half foot bolt. I mean, we're talking, we're gonna put the 70 pound thrust 24 volt on there. That's what, edge, edge, may I get you, edge. We're edging things out here. Um, well, we're gonna unbolt that, because that's not what we want up here in the current, in the mud, in the sand, fishing shallow, fishing deep, in the cry, I just don't want that on there. So we unbolted that and whew, threw that in the garbage. And we went and put on our 112. Well, we got to doing all that. We got our 112 on there. We barely fit all three batteries in, plus our cranking battery, because I don't think it came with batteries. Um, the problem is, is now it's factory rigged with eight gauge wire, which some of you would be like, yeah, it's all right. Maybe it is on reservoirs or lakes, but we got current mud and everything else here. We're running up on jacked up jackrabbit, getting to the place, and it's gonna start to melt, get hot. Everything's gonna turn to a marshmallow and we're gonna have a fire and the boat's gonna start on fire. We're gonna to have to call the fire department and we're gonna swim away from our ranger as it sinks to the bottom because it started on fire. No? Just put a breaker on it, it'll be fine. Anyway, so we're gonna leave the eight in there because we want it to start on fire. All right, so we've got our 112 on it. We've got our three bat 331s in it. We cut a bracket to fit the 27 in so everything fits back there. Um, and now we have made the boat that we like. So now we're gonna put our twin 10s and our twin 12. No, we're not gonna do that either. Nines? What does this thing come with? Rigged? Fives? Sevens? What? Sevens. Lorance sevens? And we took them off. And we upgraded to nines? Why don't we upgrade to tens? Twelves? Not an option. <laughs> no options for tens or twelves. You gotta do that at home by yourself. Does it say anything about a dealer? Talk to dealer? No. God, I can't talk to Cabela's about putting a 10 in for you. It's a nine only, strictly nine, all right. All right, so we're upgrading to nines uh, on this model. At the bow, we are going with the fine Helix 9 MDI. And at the council, we are going with the fine Helix 9 MSI. Of course, Gen 4s. And of course we did, we were able to link them, so we linked them. Um, we're gonna put our, we're gonna, all right, now we get back to the motor. Options, you ready? Options, here we go. We're gonna put our Atlas, what? We're not We're not putting our Atlas on this one. We can't put our Atlas on this one. You wanna know why? Because it says in bold print, four inch Atlas, you can put on there, but can't do power poles on our four inch Atlas. 
can't put power poles on it. They don't want you to put power poles on it. But we can get ourselves our Z-Lock custom made six inch jack plate that's gonna go up and down when we crank on it hard, if you know what I mean. But we can put six inch, or we can put eight foot Sportsman twos on that. So we're gonna go with manual on this one. We can't put our performance package into this boat. So we're gonna get passed by the guy with the freaking 90 horse that's all set up and he's, it's gonna be a mess. But no jack, no, no hydraulic jack plate. So we gotta just, I'm mind blown right now, Jordan. I can't, I can't do this no more. Can I quit? This is stupid. This is stupid. Um, so I got a manual jack plate on it. I did get two bike seats. Uh, I got a boarding ladder, which was bad ass. When I starts on fire, I can jump out. Um, I got my Sportsman 2s on there. I got an RT fishing package. Oh, I got the RT fishing package. I got a custom cover, ratchet, tie downs, and a f***ing coin box? What the f*** do I need a coin box for? A coin box. What? That's in the package, a coin box? Was that just a hole filler? I got a coin box in my RT package. Uh, I did get uh, tilt hydraulic steering, which is bad ass. That way I can get out, in and out. That way if Neil wants to get in, he can just tilt the steering wheel forward. He's got enough room to get in and out, if you know what I mean. Uh, trailer options, you ready? Tandem axle trailer, bad ass, I got that. Uh, road armor, it's equipped with the fine Ranger road armor and it's got a swing away tongue. And I did get brakes. That's what I got. Page two. There's no page two. There's not enough options on this boat to get a page two. You get one page of options, barely. Look at it. That's all I get, right there. Grand total, final price, not out the door because no tax, no title, no licensing on this boat. 50528 Go to your local Cabela's and hopefully they'll rig it up for you. 50528 51000 51000 I can get my 198 ready to rock with my 112 with the 8 gauge wire in it, 31 batteries, 27 cranker, my kick ass 9s in it because as I get older, I see less. Anybody want to talk about getting older and not being able to see as much? Okay, we got one raising his hand. Neil, where the hell is he at? What? What about getting older and not being able to see? You need glasses. Okay, sucks. sucks. So we don't want nines, but we got to go with them. That's what we did. We put no, we can't even put our damn Jordan. This is pissing me off. This is stupid. I can't even put a hydraulic jack plate on this thing, but I did get bike seats. I got a boarding ladder so when somebody's in the back and he falls out, he can get in. I got my sportsman's on there. I got a kick ass coin box that holds 50 fucking cents. Um, I got a tilt hydraulic steering. I got a tandem axle trailer with brakes. I got road armor and a swing away tongue for $50,000, 51,000. In my eyes, what I labeled should be starting price. It should be finished at 35,000 bucks for what I just said. Done out the door for 36 grand. You should be able to pick this boat up as I listed it, not 50 grand. My friends, you are overpriced because you gave me $50,000 worth of shit that I couldn't do anything with. That's it, I'm over, just overpriced. The Ranger 198.10 boat is overpriced in my eyes because I can't do anything with it. They won't let me. Click, no, can't do that. Click, no, can't do that. Can't put 10s, can't put 12s, gotta do that at home underneath the shade tree. Make sure you use the same tree to hang the goddamn jack plate because we don't want you to do that, you're gonna break the transom. Something's wrong here. I don't understand why I can't put a jack plate on with power poles. I don't know why I can't put a bigger motor on it. I don't understand. These other ones we did are 200s, 225s, 250s. They were 70, 80 grand, whatever the hell they may have been. Yeah, they were less, they were more money, but at least you could put everything I wanted on it. We could go fast. And at least if it broke, we were going fast. Now we're gonna go slow and it's gonna break. That's gonna piss me off, okay? I don't like it, I'm done. <laughs> Ranger, overpriced, I'm out. But we were live, we had a good time, it's all over with. So as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I guarantee you the Ranger people right now are not saying. Speed, money, no brakes. Johnny Morris, love you buddy, thanks.